Hey, what's happening, family? As always, give thanks and praises to your Creator, whoever you might conceive him or her to be. I'm here relaxing and another beautiful day. Getting as much sun as S U N as possible. Now, I was watching Naomi, the girl that says Africa, 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 Wake Africa, and she actually said the same thing I said a couple of weeks ago on a video when I said there's two worlds and they're splitting. And on her video, I have to smile. I mean, I'm not saying, like I said before, I'm not the fullest bottle in the six pack, but I think outside the box. When she said that there are two worlds, the world that they want us to be in and the world that we're going to be in. And I'm like, I was just smiling to myself. I'm like, okay, maybe, maybe I'm onto something. She says they tried their narrative all the way down to the last and now everything is being dropped. As we know, you don't have to wear a mask no more. You don't have to, there's not really no mandation for you to actually get the jab or the cooling anymore. They're not, they're not forcing on you like before anymore. They're not even speaking about it like before anymore. Um, a lot of places tell you that you don't have to wear a mask to go here or you don't have to put that thing on your face to go here. Um, <clears throat> but what she's saying is this, she's saying the new world order tried everything possible to keep us locked down in their world. And I said that before, I said they tried everything possible to keep us to lock down in their world. That's why I said there's two worlds, their world and the world you want to be living in. And she's also saying that it's really amazing, it's really amazing, you know, that the people that actually take the Kool-Aid now is the ones that are gonna force people to try to take the Kool-Aid because they're working for, not really working for, their agenda is to, they don't really convince, let me not really convince. Let me say this. They don't really want to admit that what they did, they didn't want to do. They wasn't forced to do it now. They wasn't forced to do it, but they did it. Now they're getting to realize, or despite the fact that they do get it, I'm coming to the point, some of them still get the kool -Aid. Although they take the job not to get the kool -Aid. And those folks that did not take the cab and survived right through till now without taking the cab and still going forward, they're like, damn, I should never have done that, but it's too late because your body's already infected with the cab, with the Vaseline. So what I'm trying to say in this video is that, like she said, they wanted us to be in their world where they have us living in fear and lockdown are doing what they want us to do folk oh she's also saying and i said it in latin i think one of my earlier videos too i said that and they blocked my video i said those that have it as a matter of fact watch that movie the the latest james bond movie i forgot the name of it no way to die or one way to die when at the end the guy that got the gab all the folks that went to the funeral that says, you know what? All the folks that are there at the funeral would be infected. Yes, goes to show, folks. The folks that get the Kool-Aid, be careful of them. Those are the ones that is spreading the Kool-Aid. Read between the lines. Those that get the job is the ones that is spreading the Kool-Aid. Be careful of who you're hanging out with. This might raffle a lot of feathers. I don't really give a damn because every person have a choice in their life to do what they think is right for them. So if you do what you think is right for you and you are going to suffer the consequences, it's all on you. I have nothing to do with me. I'm just saying what it is. Whether you want it or not, I'm saying what it is. They're saying, and I heard it before, those folks that get the jab is the one that's spreading the Kool-Aid. The fumes from their body is spreading the Kool-Aid. That's why it's not good to go and hang out in bars, party with a group of people no more. Restrict from who you hang out or bring in your house. Because the world's or the world is not like before. Like I said, nothing is gonna go back the way it was because this new normal is back but yes, that's the oxymoron. But anyway, that's all living topic. The world is not going to be the same again. So be careful of who you bring in your house.
You don't want to absorb nothing in your pores while someone is coming around your house that already have taken the Kool-Aid. So folks, until that note, folks, keep stocking up on your stuff. Try to plant some food. It's springtime now, so it's beautiful. Outside is just, I didn't even want to show you. So you can see outside is beautiful. Outside is just marvelous, man. I love it. So stock up on your stuff. Try to plant, springtime, try to plant some tomatoes, cabbage, lettuce or something. You know what I mean? And try to do the things that you know to do to keep you healthy. Walk, exercise, think positively at all times. Do not associate yourself, like I keep saying it over and over again, with negative people. Avoid gossipers. People are always talking bad about people. And that way your life would be beautiful. Because you wouldn't have to worry about, oh, she said that, and he said that, and she said that, and he said that. No. Like I tell people, if it doesn't concern you, leave it alone. Leave it alone, man. So the name, folks, restrict from who come to your house. Don't be a hermit. But be cautious because there's two worlds that is going to split. And you choose, like I said, everyone have a choice. And you choose which world you want to be in. Until then, folks, I love you guys. Until then, peace out. One love.